Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, so we haven't made a video in a long time, but we're making this one because uh, it is timely. And that is, you've probably heard, or it's getting around, that the governor has given permission, and so the bishops have given permission to reopen the churches this weekend with a 25% capacity. However, the governor has further established that that 25% cannot exceed 50 physical persons. So uh, while you might hear that many churches are opening, I want to let you know that um, we here at OLM will not be opening this weekend right away uh, for a few reasons. And I got them right here. We have scheduled private First Holy Communions uh, th throughout June and we did this prior to the announcement of the opening, so we have a lot of uh, time slots for the little ones who, who have been waiting to hear something. So in trying to address that issue, we decided to give um, the limit of 10 people per family at the time, and the option, if anyone wanted to, to schedule their First Holy Communion. And many, many, many families, uh, more than half, I believe, have taken us up on that. Uh, at the last count, I think we're up to 18, 19, about half. So uh, that's one, one issue. We don't want to call them and have to reschedule again. We also want to take a more conservative approach in bringing the family back together again uh, so that we can balance the concerns and the, and the anxiousness and make sure that we have everything uh, in place for a safe worship but, uh, and a dignified worship. You know? So we're going to have to uh, modify some, some of our you know, some of the ways we where we sit and how close we sit and we have to make sure everything is sanitized and all that sort of thing. One entrance, one exit, and we want to um, make sure we have all that in place. So we'll give you those rules when we are ready to open. We'll make another video with all of that or those protocols. Also, we are hoping that by July, the governor will have moved into a next phase uh, whereby we won't have to limit the mass attendance or at least give us much more than 50 folks. And then, uh, so 50 really would not handle the, the parish's needs right now. Uh, so again, we want to ensure all sanitation protocols are in place. We want to show all ministries have been trained uh, on what, we, what is expected of them according to the protocols. Also, um, smartly, it was suggested that, um, that we could also learn from the mistakes of others. So we've got a two week period maybe here where other churches that will open can tell us what went right, what went wrong, um, and we can learn from that. And again, with the maximum amount placed right now at 50 people in that church building, uh, that's not going to serve our community very well. Uh, we'd have to turn a lot of you away, and uh, or you know, it just it would be doesn't seem wise at this moment to to continue with the, the opening of this weekend. So I am pleased to announce that we are planning to open on uh, July 4th. The weekend of July 4th, July 5th, and uh, by then we will have watched the other parishes. Hopefully, the numbers will have been increased by the by the government. Uh, we will have trained ourselves and those who will be handling the various protocols at the various masses, and uh, it'll be a safe and, as I say, a very dignified experience for uh, for the worship, rather than trying to pretend we're having mass and worrying about all these other rules. You know, we want to attend mass rules will go smoothly. And that's all for now. So uh, God bless. Please be patient. Uh, we're asking a lot of patience. I know you want to get back to your church building and it's coming. It's coming soon. We're starting to get there. So uh, be very patient. God bless.